All right, let's talk about it. Mayweather and Logan Paul. What the heck is going on right now? All right, first off, is it good for boxing? Is it bad for boxing? Here's the thing. If you're a professional fighter, if you've been doing this your whole freaking life, you're probably thinking that it, this is bad. But I want to throw something at you and have you think at it a little, little differently here. Think about it in this way, because these are two like really smart business guys that have found ways to make money just being in a certain market, whether it's Logan Paul doing Pokemon cards or Floyd Mayweather just showing up to any event that he decides to, or start an exhibition fight with a, one of the greatest MMA fighters of all time. I don't even have to say his name and you know who I'm talking about, all right? These two are powerhouses in terms of making money, making business moves happen. And, and if you're about like making opportunities happen, I highly suggest paying attention to how these two are doing it. And they're already doing it by creating some buzz, creating some hype, everyone's losing it already the fact that this is happening. So everyone is, majority of people are thinking this is awful for boxing, all right? Well, majority of us have no right to say what is good or bad for boxing when a majority of us have never fought before in our lives, okay? Like, plain and simple. If you haven't done it, shut up, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of funny, it's kind of funny. You gotta admit, okay? So anyway, talking about these two things that are happening here, or these two fighters that are supposedly going to come together around June 6th. This is when this fight's supposed to happen. Um, I mean, you got Logan Paul, who is a powerhouse in terms of YouTube, in terms of social media. Him and his brother Jake Paul are on top of the world right now, and everyone's wanting a piece of them. Not just not just to like fight them, but just to understand that they have opportunity to make money. And this is, this, is a, this is a business right here. You have to understand that. So if you see it as an opportunity to make some money for you as well, tap into that. And even if you're a boxing coach looking at this, know that there is a younger audience seeing this and may be curious about boxing. And they're like, yeah, you know, I kind of want to try this. I saw the Jake Paul fight or the Logan Paul fight. I saw that he's fighting some guy named Mayweather. You know, this is an opportunity for a boxing coach to come in with the knowledge, with the talent, with the expertise and take somebody in that's not as used to this. Maybe a, there's a term thrown around that they're very green or just very fresh to a lot of this. Take somebody in and lead them into it the right way. That's the cool part about this. Whether Logan Paul's working with Mayweather or not, he's gonna be given a world-class butt kicking all right he's gonna get taken to school by this guy plain and simple like there's no doubt about that all right like it's it's gonna be amazing to watch a master just rip a rip a guy apart who hasn't been doing this as long as he has plain and simple that's what's gonna happen so again to my coaches that are to my trainers, to my athletes that are watching this, know that there is a lot of eyes on this. And if you are in this position where you're wanting to sell tickets more, you're wanting to build your own business more, like I don't have to, I'm not a master of this, but I just see it. And it's just so obvious in my face that if you don't take advantage of it, you're missing out on opportunity to make a little extra cash or to get a little more recognition and maybe get your next fight or your next opportunity. So. Let's keep the discussion going here. What are your thoughts on this Logan Paul Mayweather fight? And let's just keep it on this, right? Because obviously I see a lot of positives coming from this, but I also see and want to understand a little bit more of, I guess not negatives, but maybe the building moments that make it a little more interesting. All right, talk to you later. I'm JD, see you later.